So for this evening, I have found myself up on Latrig, which is a small fell just above the town of Keswick in the North Lake District. And I'm uh, hoping to catch a sunset over the Western Fells there. Just take that initial shot to show you what I'm looking at. And uh, just going to apply my polarizer to the front of the camera there. I'm not overly bothered about a polarizer, but it's stuck to the thing and I can't be faffed taking it off so I'm gonna go it's a little windy tonight as well I'm gonna go for a 0.9 graduated ND filter I'm gonna put that on to I'm gonna put that onto the front of the camera there and hope that gives me a bit of leeway with these uh, with these highlights in the sky because it's very bright over there there we go I've got a fantastic shot from here from a, a morning shoot but if you uh, if you can get up here for sunrise it can be absolutely fantastic and I guess the trick the trick with it is to you know hopefully get some good weather so I'll just take another shot there and then I'm going to rotate slightly so I can get the rest of the rest of the lake in there there we go that little noise indicates that I'm overexposed but that's the sun so I'm not overly worried about that um, now, I've got, uh, I'm free of the tripod at last, and I'm able to use this system now to just try and see where I would like to position my compositions, because I think being restricted to the tripod all the time, like I've said in previous videos, it's quite restrictive as to what you can achieve right so let me compose myself whilst I'm composing this so what I've done is I've just focused on the bench in front I'm at f25 I've got my 0.9 graduated filter on I'm gonna take that shot there right so I'm just warming myself up before obviously the um, the, the good light happens if indeed it does and then I'm going to come to the edge of this little outcove here and see how this looks I'm going to level off the tripod there I can refocus into refocusing to Keswick Town now. Hello. And then I can create the panoramic shot running round. There we go, and I can stitch them together. We'll see what that looks like. I can just so I'm just going to wait now and see how things come out. So 
see if we actually get a sunset. In the meantime, I'll just take a couple more images there, stitch those together, and uh, see how that looks. I might have a third to that one, so I get a little bit more of the land in there. And then I'll have a break before, um, hopefully, a bit more light will come, just before the, the sun dips behind the fells there. It looks pretty cloudy, so I'm not sure that's going to happen. But we're here, and uh, if it does happen, I'll be able to take advantage of it. So I'll catch up with you in a minute, hopefully. Okay, so not much is happening with the light here, but I've got some locals here who don't seem to be too shy of having the photograph taken. So I'm going to just take this if they'll stay still long enough to be legible. See if I can make a panoramic image there with the uh, sheep in the foreground. Not sure if that's going to be effective or not, but beats waiting around. Okay. See if I can get these sheep in the foreground here. Not sure that'll add anything to the image, but the here. There we go. It's a bit much asking a sheep to stand still for half a second, isn't it? take the uh, filters off the camera and that'll give me a better chance probably there we go so you get a great view from up here with uh, Borrowdale down ahead there with all the trees on the bank and uh, the jaws of Borrowdale there which features in a previous video on the higher fells above great end and then come round, you've got uh, Causey Pike and Cat Bells. And then you're over to the Western Fells there, where the sun's about to set. So you get the full view of Keswick Town, with the river running through. And uh, swimming baths down there in front of us, the Pyramid Roof. It's a fantastic viewpoint for very little effort to get up here. So, uh, yeah, let's just hope something comes of this because it's been a while since I've shot sunrise or sunset up here and I would be delighted if something came of it. So my thinking behind what could happen here is you've got, if you look down there over Derwentwater, you can see this bank of trees along the... Uh, the fell across the, the way there, running right down to King's How. And that is uh, just ripe for being illuminated by that setting sun over to the right. But we've got cloud there now, which is going to prevent that from happening this evening, I think. So we'll, we'll hope it'll break through, but I'm very doubtful it will. But I'm here, so I'll make the best of it if I can. Hello. So you can also see the Helvellyn range over there with uh, 
those massive fells of Helvellyn, which uh, tops in cloud now. So the thermia is just tucked in behind there. And uh, it's not, once you get a bit of height in a place like this, you can realize that it's not that big a place. Everywhere's connected by, well, the mainly valleys really connected with uh, the, uh, the fells separating them between, obviously. And uh, Buttermere will just be over there as well. And then if you go further over there, you'll be touching onto Langdale, which uh, is a long way to go in a car, but it's not that far as the in a straight line. I'm not confident we're even going to get a decent sun set tonight although there's some very high clouds there over to the west so it could be possible I guess it just depends what happens behind uh, the western fells there if there's even more thicker cloud then we'll probably lose the light and that'll be the end of it so I wanted to test an app I've been using for accuracy which is called TPE 3D and uh, I'll see if I can share this with you now. So here we go, this is my iPhone screen. So I've dropped a pin from the location where I am now. And that's showing me what the position of the sun now, which I can see there. And it's saying it's going to dip behind that fell by 17 minutes past four. And it's, yeah, there we go, about 10 past 4, it's still visible, quarter past, right, so by 17, 18 past, it's totally gone. So what time are we on now? 10 past 4, so another 10 minutes, that sun will be gone behind there. And that is what I'm supposed to be seeing if we had full sun. So as, you, as I said, you've got all the light down here on the, um, the bank of the fells opposite. that's soon going to disappear when that sun goes so I reckon in the next five minutes if nothing if nothing good happens in the next five minutes then uh, it's a write-off although it's not really a write-off technically because I've come out and I'm getting fresh air and I've stretched my legs so it's a win really that's the way I look at it anyway I think it's the only way to look at it. It's maybe brightening up a tiny bit over there. Right, there we go. I'm going to just take another one and see if I can get these sheep in. Why I'm doing that, I don't really know. Okay. So I'm going to set up level the tripod head off I'm gonna check my uh, focus point which I should have done before I leveled off but there we go it's a quick adjustment now I'm gonna expose for the ground 
and then use my neutral density filter there just to try and bring the sky back. I've cropped the sheep out by levelling it off and I'm just going to rotate it a couple of times. There we go. Gives me a nice wider image to uh, to play with there. I'm not saying I'll use all that, but it's once it's gone, you can't get it back, can you? Right, so while my tripod's level, I'm going to rotate that back around in the landscape format. And I'm going to go again, because I've got my bit more foreground with this shot. And I'll try and get these sheep moving about. There we go. This would be a perfect example of a HDR panoramic, wouldn't it? Should I try that? Right. Let's work out what you would need. I think you're only you're only talking two stops. So bracketing active amount two steps frames three. Right. So I'll position myself in the middle. Expose for the middle. So I'll fire off three shots per frame. Oh my god, that's a five second exposure. Them sheep are going to be all over the place. Okay. We're losing the sun there now, so it's... Uh, It's not going to turn out as I was, as I would have hoped, but we're going to make the most of it anyway. In fact, I have made a mistake there. What I should have done is took the filters off the front. So I'm going to do that again when this one's finished. There we go. Right. Yeah. That's going to work, I think. That's going to work better. Should be a lot quicker as well. Put the filters away. looking down the valley up to Bassenthwaite. Right. So I reckon I should be able to create something from that. I think them sheep are going to be all over the place. So I'm not confident that's going to work. But I think when the weather's or when the light's like this you've got nothing to lose. You might as well experiment, try a few new things. So I'm going to reframe the whole of Dome Water in one-to-one -one scene. No filters. Just a three-step, two-stop exposure bracket. Get some sheep coming close here. There we go. So, I think I've run out of luck for today. So, I'm going to probably call it a day from here now so if um, I'll run through the images in a bit of a slideshow the ones I think are worthy of sharing and will uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll see where we go from there so thanks for watching all the best for now I'll catch you again on the next video